Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design Nerd. Today we're reviewing the Xtool F1 slide extension. Xtool did send me this for free in exchange for a review, so please bear that in mind. One of the obvious issues that I had with the machine is that the bed size is quite limited. It's only 115 millimeter square. The slide extension remedies that issue. It essentially gives you four times the bed size. This is 400 millimeters by 115 millimeters. But before we continue with the review, I just want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this channel, PCB Way. Whether you need laser engraving, 3D printing, or PCB services, PCB Way have you covered. They now even have direct integration with KiCad through their new KiCad plugin, so be sure to check that out. With PCB Way, you can enjoy low minimum order quantities, fast worldwide shipping, and instant quotes on their most popular services. So head over to PCB Way to get an instant quote on your next project and bring your ideas to reality. Thank you for listening, and now let's get back to the review. The setup and installation was very easy from what you'd expect with an Xtool product. Uh, you just align the markings at the front here with the uh, the original bed markings you go through a very simple calibration process within the Xtool creative space which is just a case of lining up a, a line from from the laser with your ruler on this slide you then tighten two screws and this slider is locked in place the slider was immediately recognized when I plugged it in via the USB cable and I had no issues getting this set up it was very very easy now let's go over the pros starting with the most obvious is that you get a larger bed size it means that you you can cut things that would just simply be impossible with the original F1 bed size. For just a few hundred dollars, you are getting four times the bed size, which for me is very good value for money. Because of the larger bed size, it means that not only can you cut larger material, but it also means that you can do larger batches of smaller items. And this is where I really think that the slide extension shines. It allows for less time spent setting up jobs and babying the machine. And it means that you can get on with other things while you're in the room. I would not leave this alone, uh, but while you got it on in the room, you can do other things. For a small business who are probably juggling lots of things, or if someone like me that is a tinkerer, a maker, and you're usually using different machines different processes within the same room uh, it's really nice to have just as much time away from you know babysitting the machine as possible as much as you can get to just pressing a button and having it work and just earn you money is a very good thing another pro but this does come with a con that i'll talk about later in the video is that when using a slide extension the x-axis is locked and the y-axis is handled by the movement of the slider and this means that you have less angled cuts. If you're unsure what I'm talking about here, basically the F1 has a stationary laser source and it uses motorized mirrors to essentially reflect that laser beam onto the bed to cut the material. Now, because the laser source is in the middle and when you deflect the laser beam, it comes at an angle through the material and it results that when you have material at the outer edges of the bed, it does result in an angled cut, which you can kind of see here, it looks like a trapezium. This is reduced because the y-axis is handling this movement. So the laser is essentially just tra traveling backwards and forwards here and the, the slider is moving it this way. So no longer do you have the angled cuts here and here, you only have the angled cuts at the top and the bottom of this x-axis. Another nice surprise was that it comes with some good work holding. Uh, I really did like these clamps. They are very easy to get set up. You just pinch them with this locking lever and they lock into these rails and then you can pivot and lift up this arm to lock down the material. And it does make setting up jobs very nice and quick and easy. And they also have a good amount of work holding force and I didn't have any issues when holding down, you know, bits of leather, bits of wood and bits of paper. Another good feature is that you can still frame the entire design on the bed. It doesn't frame and show you the entire design all at once because obviously the laser is just kind of locked into this area here. But by using the dial, which uh, usually does handle the focus, when you've got it in the slide extension mode and you've got the framing on, this dial moves this slider left and right and it projects the framing onto the material. So you can still essentially frame the entire bed, the design on the entire bed by just moving it backwards and forwards. And that was quite a nice thing. It does have one issue though, and I'll talk about this in the cons uh, later in the video. Now let's go over the cons. What I loved about the F1 was that it was my first experience of an enclosed machine. So machines that I have tested in the past, they were open frame machines. I've talked about it many times, but basically as soon as I started using laser engravers, I quickly realized that 
It produces a lot of uh, fumes and smells, uh, very, very bad for your health, and you should really have it extracted or you know filtered as much as possible, basically. So I built myself a laser enclosure for my open frame machines, but when I tested the enclosed machine, which was the F1, I realized you know, how important it is to have an enclosed machine. But with the F1, it is an enclosed machine, and basically you just push down this lid, it creates a very nice seal with the bed, and that results in you know, very good suction from the outlet pool here and it means that you know when I was doing some air quality tests when I was running this thing and I've got the lid closed I mean it does a very very good job of extracting all of those very harmful fumes now with the slide extension as you can see you do need to have the lid up you, you can have it a bit lower but you need to leave a little bit of clearance for these work holding clamps and also the material you can't have this lid button right up against the material because as the slide extension moves it's just going to drag the material with it so it does mean that you need to leave a gap. I found that when I was doing some air quality tests with my air quality monitor, when I was just relying on the fan from the F1 outlet port here, going into the X2 air filter, it just wasn't powerful enough to create a negative pressure to ensure that all of the fumes were sucked through the hose and it was resulting in some leakage of fumes. And as you can see from the readings of my air quality monitor, it really wasn't good. Now, I'm always using a mask when I've when I got this running, regardless of, of how I've got this set up. In that setup, you need to make sure that you are wearing a mask. You need to make sure that you've got some sort of ventilation. I have found that by bypassing the air filter and just plugging in this outlet port directly into my Cloud Infinity extraction fan, it's got a much higher uh, airflow rate. Just having that and exhausting that out of my window, having that on the highest setting, was enough to reduce some of the fumes leaking but as you can see even with that setup it was still very bad in this room and obviously i've got a mask on so i don't like the fact that with this slide extension yeah you know, you're essentially going back to an open frame machine to xtool's credit there's not really much they could do about this this is just an accessory for this machine you just need to make sure that you know, you've got good ventilation, you've got good extraction of air, and you should be okay. The next con, and this was a bit of a surprise to me, is that the kind speeds are reduced quite a lot. What blew me away with the F1 when I first reviewed it was the engraving speeds of this machine. It exceeded every other machine I've tested, and because it is using those uh, motorized mirrors, those galvometers, you know, it can result in very, very fast engraving speeds. When you're using the slider, the cutting speed is limited to 160 millimeters per second, which uh, is quite a lot slower than the, I think it's 4,000 millimeters a second when you're not using this accessory for, for the top engraving speed. Now this is because of what I mentioned earlier was one of the pros in that because the X axis is, is locked and it's reliant on the slider for movement, you're not using those really fast motorized mirrors anymore. You're using the slider to do that movement and basically what happens is that the slider handles the the y-axis movement and the the uh, the motorized mirrors the galvometers they are still handling this x-axis movement so essentially the laser is just moving in a line and the bed is moving it left and right and this does result in yeah quite a significant drop in cutting speed and from doing some various different tests i found that i was cutting things when using the slider it took about double the amount of time as opposed to just cutting with the uh, the base plate here. You can see a few examples here. You know, I'm using the exact same settings, same material settings, but one is just with the uh, cutting it on the slider. The other one is just cutting it on the base plate. Uh, you can see that with the slider, it took me two minutes with the uh, slider not being used, just on the base plate. It is one minute, four seconds. And with an engraving here, just a very simple image, uh, just using default settings, you can see with the slider, it took three minutes and two seconds. With the base plate, it took one minute, 49 seconds. Now, what made this a little bit easier to stomach for me was that the slider can actually just remain on the machine. I was thinking when I did notice this you know, increase in speed from using a slider, I was thinking, oh God, I've got to take it on and off every single time from going from you know small jobs, I can just use the base plate. Um, when I've got bigger jobs, I can use the slider. But actually you can just set it in the external crap space to just say, use the base plate and you can just use the top of this slider as the base plate and it will just not use the slider and you'll be able to get those fast cutting and engraving speeds. I hope that Xtool maybe develops something in the future that essentially allows the, the slider to do as little of the movement as possible. The way that I thought this was gonna work when, when I first heard about this is that basically the laser would still 
engrave in that 115 millimeter squared section it would you know dart around and do all the engraving and then once it's kind of reached that area and it's completed the area the slider would essentially just move it along and then you'd have another essentially you know, a quadrant of uh, 115 millimeter square and it would obviously do the work that's not how it works now i know that obviously you know they've probably reduced the cutting speeds to make sure that they're retaining the accuracy and obviously combining the motorized mirrors and the slider and trying to get all that work together and the accuracy is going to be really difficult. But it would be pretty cool if there was maybe like a slider on the external creative space that said like how much you want the, the slider to be as part of the movements and how much you want to just keep the movements within the, uh, you know, the original laser head up here. But yeah, it's, it is slower. And that's a bit of a bit of a downer because this thing was lightning fast when you are using it just in its normal mode. Another con that I saw was that with the framing, every single time you make an adjustment with the live framing. So this was a really nice feature that Xtel brought into the creative space was that when you're framing, you had to just previously you had to turn it on and off to have the changes reflected in the framing when, when you're working within the creative space. But then they did live framing where you could kind of like move things around and you didn't have to stop framing. It would actually just change and make the changes in the framing, which is really cool. It does that, but it, it rehomes the slider every single time you make a change, and it makes it quite cumbersome to do framing in that kind of live aspect view. Maybe this could be changed within the software. I mean, it's probably because the slider, maybe it's not kind of tracking its position as it moves, so that's why it needs to keep on rehoming in order to do the framing. But yeah, it's just it's just a little bit of a negative. I do like the fact that you, know, you can frame an entire design on this bed, and you can see it, which was a really nice surprise. So to conclude, if you own an X-Tool F1, I'm guessing most of you watching this uh, that you probably do, I think this is a very good purchase. If you've already spent $1,500, $1,600 on the F1, paying an extra like $200, $250 for the slide extension is a bit of a no-brainer, purely because it just allows you to cut things that you know, just are impossible with just the normal setup. Being able to cut larger things, you know, being able to engrave larger plates like this for instance or being able to do you know use larger bits of material to do batches like cutting out all these keychains for instance i mean this was just a small bit of scrap leather that i had left over i can now buy you know bigger bits of leather 400 mil long and i can probably get i don't know 50 60 keychains from just pressing one button now, previously that would have taken me hours to have to baby the machine and keep on swapping it over because i would have only have got maybe yeah, maybe like eight out of the uh, the setup with just using the base plate. There are some cons to it. You know, the reduction in cutting speed is probably going to be the biggest surprise to most people when they start using it. But I think that this is outweighed by the fact that, you know, if you've got a large sheet of material, you can just put on this plate and you can just press a button and cut them all out in one go. That is a huge time saver, even though it does take longer to cut. It's, it's just a much more of a productivity boost, not having to baby the machine and to do the swap overs in, in terms of setting up the material each time. That alone for me would, would probably be enough reason to, to buy this. But I do think that you know it does kind of make the X-Tool, the, the air filter, a little bit redundant. I, I don't think it's powerful enough to kind of suck things up. I really need to just try and find a way to reduce the amount of leakage that you get by using this slider. And I think that if I was, you know, if I got a couple hundred dollars to spend on ways to make the air cleaner, instead of buying the air filter, maybe I would just buy a really powerful extraction fan and just simply just suck it out of here and just vent it straight out of my window. Obviously, if you're in a place where you can't vent it outside, then obviously the air filter is the best thing that you can do and you should definitely use it because anything is better than nothing. But if you're like me where, you know, you've got windows to exhaust things out of, yeah, I don't see myself, because I probably just keep this slider on this machine now, I'm probably not gonna go through the hassle of taking it on and off each time. I'll probably just keep it like this, and therefore probably not gonna be plugging in the air filter too many times when I know that it's probably just better for me to just use uh, just a powerful extraction fan. So hopefully this has given you some sort of insight into the slide extension. Uh, hopefully it's helped your buying decision if you were thinking about buying it. If you've got any questions about it, feel free to ask. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for Xtool for sending this to me to try out. But that is it for today. I will catch you all later.